There's been massive changes in this industry. And is anybody really safe? Uh, we're not sure, but I'm going to find out a little more from Dave Connolly of Symmetry. Dave, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Dave, what do you think of all this massive disruption that we've had in the industry lately? Well, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. When you look at it, uh, the changes that are, have been happening and are coming are just un, you know, unprecedented, at least in my career. Yeah, so I mean, you look at some of these changes. So you got, you got Scott Trade selling to TD Ameritrade, you got Jefferson National and Nationwide, you got LPL on the block yep. right now. Commonwealth yes. just made a thing the other day, they said they're not gonna do commissions in any retirement products. So there's, those are some big changes yeah. and things that you wouldn't predicted five years ago were gonna happen, or two years ago. Right, even. I mean, we've seen such amazing consolidation. Where does that leave a firm like Symmetry? Uh, actually in a pretty good place, believe yeah. it or not, because we've been doing, we've been helping advisors convert to a fee model and RIA model for 15 years now. And my partner and I started as fee-only advisors 22 years ago. So we've been doing it for quite a long time. So it's kind of coming towards us. Now that's where this momentum of the industry is heading, right? Yep. You look at things like the DOL fiduciary rule and it's that is, you know, everyone's jumping on your bandwagon. Now, does that create a lot of undue comp competition? Um, I think uh, somebody said here the other day that you've got to kind of redefine, you know, what your value is, where you used to be, uh, say, hey, I'm fiduciary, and that resonates with clients, and now everyone's going to say that. Right. So, yeah, there's definitely, everyone's going to have to evolve. So, when you think about the evolution and next steps for your firm, where, where are you heading? Um, well, we're doing really what we've been doing for quite a while and going to continue to do it and do it, I think, at a, at a more in-depth pace because what we've primarily been able to do is help advisors convert from a commission-based mm -hmm. uh, business into a fee business. Um, we're just going to do and, and do that at their pace. I think they're going to have to do it a little faster pace than they've been doing it in the past. And I think that's going to be the change for us to, to help them accelerate that. Talk to me about your growth trajectory. How, how, have you, how quick have you grown? And where are you going from here? Uh, well, hopefully upward and onward, right? Uh, uh, so uh, we started uh, just two advisors in, in 94 with really no assets under management, uh, RIA, and really learned our model. We became fiduciaries then. Right. And we did that for till about 2002 when we had an opportunity to package what we did and sell to other advisors. We had advisors in Connecticut that we competed with came to us and said, can we sell your system? And we we're like, we have a system. We didn't really think about it like that. We said, I guess we do have a system. So we went out and started training them. And that took the business uh, at the time from a couple hundred million into uh, pretty quickly to about 2008 to about five billion. Wow. And now we're just, uh, just a tad under eight. How many advisors now total? Um, we have, it, it's the advisors that do business with us, we've had over 2,000 do business wow. with us. And the ones that do the majority of this, it's about you know, 300, 400 advisors. So the old 80, 20, you know. And, an, and a national reach here now? Every state. Wow. Every state. Wow. Yeah. So is there goals in mind as you kind of look at the trajectory? You're looking ahead three, five years. What's next for you? Um, well, what we've what we've done now is we started to specialize more and channelize, and we hadn't done that in the past. And the business is really forcing us to do that in different channels, from the banking channel to the independent uh, BD channel to the RA channel, because they're they're all coming together, but they're they're starting at different spots. So we need to specialize and help them where and come where they are now and get them to where they got to go. Absolutely. So when you think about where the industry is heading, last question. You know, over the next few years. Where do you think, what could happen next? Well, I think, I, I think that, you know, this has kind of happened before. It's happened in England in 2012 mm -hmm. and in Australia in 2013. I might have those reversed. Uh, 2012, 2013, they did the same thing to do it, DOL is doing now, except they banned commissions completely. And you saw 30% uh, of the advisors in England are now out of the business four years later. And I think it's going to have similar effects here. And, and I think the other thing is advisors are going to have to be much more scalable than they are in the past. There are a lot of advisors that look at them and they, they're really doing it, uh, you know, they're, they're doing it piecemeal. They don't have systems, they don't, they're not automated. You know, you come here and you, you see a lot of stuff, but they're not implementing it the way they need to. And that's what we're there to help them do. Absolutely. Well, Dave, thanks so much for walking through some great insights. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for Absolutely. having me. Absolutely. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman.